There's a sad mystery in Newark tonight over the death of an eight-year-old girl. She was found yesterday unresponsive in an apartment. The only thing police will tell us tonight is that they're investigating this as a suspicious death. I would just report Darla Miles with the story. She's live at the scene for us. Darla. Well, Bill, again, this death is definitely suspicious. That is something that we do know from the Essex County Prosecutor's Office. But at this point, investigators are trying to determine if this was criminal. They're hoping that the autopsy report will answer that question. But at this point, they're still waiting to hear from the medical examiner's office to get an official cause of death on this eight-year-old girl to make that determination. Now, we have been on the scene all day long. We have seen detectives and forensic crews going in and out of the family's second floor apartment as they conduct their investigation. In fact, sources tell Eyewitness News the detectives have gone so far as to look through the child's diary for any additional clues as to what might have happened here. Now, this all started Sunday afternoon. There was a 911 call around 1.30 that the child was not breathing. The eight-year-old girl was then taken to University Hospital, where she was later died, pronounced dead around 2.16 Sunday afternoon. This happened here in Newark at the intersection of South Orange Avenue and Sanford Avenue. And at this point, the Essex County Prosecutor's Office is handling this investigation. They have not released the name of this child, but we will tell you right now that they are waiting for that autopsy report to determine the cause of death, to determine any possible criminality here.